advertising. Yeah. Entertain chat for me while I'm typing stuff. Entertain chat. Uh, do 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 do. Yes. <laughs> do do. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> do do. Is anyone even here yet? No. <laughs> Who am I entertaining then? <laughs> me. Entertain myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a crab rave. That'll be entertaining. Hell yeah. Crab rave. Oh, I can do that. Yes, that should be good. I thought you were going to throw something. <laughs> Will it hit you on the chair? No. Oh, why does it change from that? Well done. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't seem like the internet is being affected much. It has affected everything. I sent the advertisement and someone responded with a picture of Jacksepticeye. Hell yeah. Able to no. I wrote we instead of www. Because <laughs> I missed the W twice. M E. Okay. That actually. That's on Twitter. And I've done my Snapchat advertisements. Should I put it in my fucking class Discord or group chat? I think that it is. would be funny. Yes, do that. Why did your mic quality change? I switched from using my phone. Is it worse now? You sound like a fucking radio. Actual? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. You've become a radio talk show. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out a way where I can watch the Discord thing, but also draw at the same time. <laughs> hmm. I could just sound like a radio. <laughs> I guess that'll make it interesting. Yeah, it's it's some epic sound effects added l in real time. Yeah, beep beep boop. We got a robot okay. to read the, half the voices. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Yeah, we made an AI do it. Yeah. By we, I mean me and the AI. I believe that they helped. <laughs> Damn. Why is it not zooming in on Drop that frames seventeen percent? That sounds about fine. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> hmm. Why right, can you zoom there if we I go? Switch to to the, if I switch to the game scene and then oops I've lost the game. <laughs> Lose the game. What yes. did I just do? I don't know. Chunks out warning, watch. blood, gore, violence, strong language. What, what, what? I thought this was a happy, cool thing. It's called Bad End Theater. Yeah, I thought it was because they were bad at acting. Bad End Theater. Yeah. Bad, bad endings. endings. <laughs> yeah, to the, the film productions. <laughs> Welcome to the... Welcome to Bad End Theatre. On this stage, we will be playing with fate. You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. But first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you like. Human doll or devil doll? Do the demon one, because you get cool horns. Demon doll. You control the demon doll. You're a fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? A 
attack it or play nice. Oh. Be friends. Yeah. Play nice. You try to make friends with the human doll, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless. Oh. You found your very first bad ending. But don't worry, the, the story need not end here. Let's reset the stage and try again. This time, try controlling the other doll. You control the human doll. You're a friendly looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Will we- Kill it. We're we gonna kill it? Yeah. They killed us. So you kill the demon anger. doll this time, and it doesn't resist. This is all because you, cho you chose to play nice in the first round. Are the mechanics becoming clear? Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to what you choose during your last playthrough. But now you can turn each other, each one on or off without having to replay from that doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Now try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the different outcomes. Okay. How do I turn it off? There we go. We're gonna, they're gonna be... I'm gonna be the human doll, and we're gonna be nice, and the demon's not gonna be wicked. You control yeah. the human doll. You're a friendly looking guy just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? We're gonna play nice. You and the demon doll are able to set aside your differences and become friends. End tutorial. Heck yeah. Wait. We didn't see it. we didn't see all the tutorial endings. You control the human doll, you're a friendly looking guy minding your own business, how will you interact? Play nice. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you. End tutorial. <laughs> okay. Damn. I think that's all. I think that's all. <laughs> you understand how to play? Yeah, I get it. This game saves your progress automatically. So just relax and collect all the bad endings at your own pace. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Heck Ooh, yeah. okay, we've got four characters. Who do you want to be? Oh, oh, do I get to choose who I'm gonna be? Yeah, there's Hero, Maiden, Underling, and Overlord. I'll go Underling. You pick two, because I'll voice two and you voice oh, two. Oh, two? Yeah. Um, and I'll be the other orange one, the Hero. So you'll be Hero and Underling, and I'll be Maiden and Overlord. Yeah. All right. Hell who, yeah. Who, whose story would go on for first? Um, Overlord. The Overlord? Because they look cool. You are the Overlord. You live in a castle, surrounded by your demon servants and a pretty cushy life, you think. Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called Hero, whose whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal, anyway? You're actually avoided pissing off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You're still new to the whole Overlord thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But, you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to a higher standard like that. One of your underling walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? Tell them to get back to work or grant them the day off? Day off. Grant them the day off. You tell them to take yeah. a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul a day. A day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. You awake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out into the battlefield to confront this jerkwad. You curse at him and very rudely inquire his reason for doing all this. The hero yells at you, demanding you to return the maiden you're holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he has grown strong from cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. With decisive swings, he stabs and cuts you into pieces. You fall. You have oh. failed your subjects. You spit curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be the Overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was the title, the control that gave you strength. 
these are your thoughts as you were swallowed by darkness. Oh, Conquered over sad. the water ending. Reset Damn. the stage. We've got one yeah. one option for for Overlord. No. What happened? Tyrant. What if we be a tyrant? You are the yeah, Overlord. Be a tyrant. Let's skip past the first bit. Oh wait, there's a skip button. <laughs> Tell them to go back to work. You give them a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Uh, venturing too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss this, the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that lecturing made you want to take a nap. You fall asleep pretty quickly. Just another one of your amazing talents is the overlord. You wake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has shown up and starts totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, dude? You rush on, out into the battlefield to confront this jerk ward. You curse at him and very rudely inquire his reason for doing all this. Hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you're holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero. He has grown strong from cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. We just oh, do I just die again? Oh. <laughs> Okay. That's so sad. Okay, that's another way of getting to the conquered overlord. So, we need to go to someone else's to try and see a different part of the story. Yeah. Um. Where the fuck is the maiden in all this? <laughs> Who knows, you know? You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You were told that you were fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. Think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't given them given the opportunity? Who knows? You're in church? Ow. <laughs> Hello. You're in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have been born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. <laughs> Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You'll even note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. Shout for a hero to come save or introduce yourself. Introduce, make friends. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. The demon suddenly jumps you and starts biting you. A lot of, how painful. This plan of yours was completely stupid, you think. Why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? You aren't angry or anything, of course. This was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for questioning fate, you guess. I won't chat as much, because you got to do a lot of reading. <laughs> bit by bit, you were swallowed by the demon until you were no more. Consume the maiden. Really? Okay. Do you want to do you want to read a character? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm here for. Do, well, we've we've played both the characters that I'm reading, so <laughs> do you want to do hero or underling now? Oh, let's do the underling. Well, wait. Do we keep the do we keep the maiden polite or? Oh yeah, they can be friends. Okay, so we're, the tire the overlord's gonna be nice, and the maiden's gonna be nice. Hell yeah, everyone's gonna be nice. Yeah. Oh, you are a demon underling in service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. A lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. She's surprisingly cool with it? Nice. You set out on your adventure outside the castle. The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. 
As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you and says she has favor to ask. You consider your options. Bubble her up or hear her out. Yeah, hear her out. We're gonna make some friends. You're in a good mood today, and you're rather curious about what the maiden has to say. You, yeah, humans don't usually talk up to you, talk to you. So this is kind of exciting. You hadn't, you hadn't guessed it would be possible to understand each other before now. Really struggling. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me. I thought I was uh, bad at reading. Mate. <laughs> The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line... The, 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 the bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it would be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. They seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide to take. It's about time for the nap. For, for a nap. I am struggling. <laughs> Man, I'm so good at reading. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sounds of battle. Damn. You emerge from your room to find that the hero was slaughtered. The hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk. <laughs> the hero was slaughtered. Yeah, awesome. Back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Avenge your oh. fallen comrades or save yourself. Avenge the comrades! Who does this guy think he is coming in here and killing everyone so like some maniac? What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving his sword into the ground sometimes. Into the guard. Brought you who some oh the guard who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you were feeling kinda down. I cannot oh. read today. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> you liked that guard. You wish with all your demon heart for this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing flesh from bone. It tastes like iron. Delicious. <laughs> the hero struggles. You feel his sword go through you, but there is no pain, only retribution. That's so sad. More of your comrades pile onto him as your consciousness fades. The hero is overtaken. Your army has won. You have Aww. earned your rest. Aww. Victorious underling. Reset Probably the stage! <laughs> we haven't looked at the hero yet. Uh, yeah, do we want to change any of the me. characters? Um... Well, we might get killed. Hmm... We could change the underling to be more nice, maybe? Well, we can only change him to be hungry to eat the maiden. Oh. At the oh, moment. I'll leave it, I guess. The only reason we got killed, the hero got killed, was because the hero killed everyone else, so I'm assuming we can change that. Yeah, that's true. Make him not be such a jerk. Yeah. You yeah, are the hero, you like to think of yourself. Those bad ends. <laughs> As a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventure. Fighting evil monsters and whatnot. Also, how's the audio on stream? Is the music too loud to Milo? <laughs> Am I being loud? No, I'm assuming you sound a bit quiet to me and I'm just wondering if it's too quiet on the stream. <laughs> oh, okay. You were told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. I love these fucking drawings. They're so cool. Yeah. Who even puts the village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. <laughs> You're happy to protect the townspeople though. You were born to play this role. It's a little loud, but it's fine. Like, it's fine, it is, it's hard to change. I don't actually know how to change it. <laughs> cool. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. I mean, I can put my mic a little further away. 
No, the game's loud is the thing. Oh. I put you up to 200% on Discord now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hell yeah. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. No, that's mean. Bravely slaughter the evil creatures or flee like a coward. Oh. <laughs> I guess we could kill them. I don't know. <laughs> that's so sad. Why can't we just be friends? <laughs> We're gonna kill them? Sure. Bravely slaughter the evil creatures. Poor demons. You make your work. Make yeah. quick work. You make work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. God. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that looks very intimidating. That all looks very intimidating. <sighs> There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Cut through the demon uh, army, ask if they'll let you in. Politely ask. You, uh, you attempt to explain why you've come. The monster before you is eyeing you with suspicion. I can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier. You haven't had the chance to wash off yet. Whoops. <laughs> oh no. You have no choice to fight the army in self-defense. Oh well, more experience points for you. You make your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand in your way. You make it to the Overlord's chamber and hope you're still in time to save the Maiden. You find the Maiden being held captive by the Overlord just as you suspected. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening? Very strange. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. <laughs> this is no time to hesitate. Ooh. Destroy the Overlord and ask the Maiden what's going on. Just politely ask. She explains that she has come here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. Oh gosh. Oh no. You don't know how to respond. <laughs> yeah, I just killed all these guys. <sighs> the overlord moves past you and out the door. Oh no. <laughs> See her army in lifeless bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What have we done? Oh, this is your no. chance here. Have I haven't done anything Stab wrong. the overlord while you can. This is all just a big understanding. Misunderstanding. Oh, misunderstanding. You're gonna die anyway. <laughs> you hope to let this whole thing slide, but if you can just, <laughs> just explain yourself, you really try, but the overlord is on Inconsolable. I can't read words. Yeah, I accidentally slaughtered your entire, basically, family. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, mate. She tears you apart, the maiden watches in silence. <laughs> As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserved this. Yeah. This tragic hero end. Damn, that's just Reset sad. the stage. We've got more options now. Ooh. Okay, what if... Wait, I want to go back through the hero again. And no, it's a lot of reading. Skip, and we're gonna flee like a coward. Yes, forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. But you can't return home, now your reputation will be ruined. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Oh wait, I, I wonder before how you we are... continue. Oh, change the volume. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, background music. <laughs> yeah, let's turn that down and uh... Wait, no. Uh, return. <laughs> you wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. You take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. I love... The hero's head belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After a long trek, you make it to the castle. The castle's front gate. You are faced with an army of demons that all looks very intimidating. It's a meme in Jury that one of the players always wears like 20 belts. 
<laughs> awesome. All the Hell bells. Yeah. There's nowhere to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Well, Kingdom Hearts is just a series of Sora trying to wear a belt. <laughs> hmm. Do you, you think they'll let well, us we are off, but Yeah. Maybe. Just, oh, just roll with it. I couldn't figure out what it was. <laughs> I'm not good with ac acronyms. We have no blood this time, so... That is true. Oh, I'm going to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. Now, oh, man, they look <laughs> like pleasant friends. But they seem to trust you and ex escort you to directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. The Overlord and ma Maiden seem to be in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. String is behind. What do you mean your string is behind? <laughs> what? You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. There is no time. This is no time to hesitate. Awesome. Are we, we're gonna go the whole yeah. nice route? Yeah, we're gonna be buddies. The maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own volition. That was a pretty dangerous thing for her to do, but no one got hurt, so at least it's that. You ask her to return to the town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. Oh yeah, I see the chat's delayed. I see what you're oh. talking about. I think that's a hmm. my end thing. <laughs> Damn. So I just saw it happen. The Overlord allows the two of you to leave and casually exit the castle. You try to make conversation with the maiden, but she's pretty quiet since leaving the Overlord's room. Is she shy? She suddenly stops in her tracks and you turn and you turn your head to ask her what the deal is. Oh, oh the Overlord's castle is engulfed in flames! You can't help but feel relieved that you got the maiden out of there when you did, but... This, she suddenly takes off towards the burning castle, panic sets in, you follow to try and stop her. Why are you running? <laughs> The smoke is so thick, you've already lost sight of her! What is she thinking? It's too dangerous to continue. You feel hopeless. You stand alone at the castle gates. Your body won't allow you to take another step forward. No, going in there would be suicide. You return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. <laughs> Aww. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. <laughs> Why are those little Why are you running? Yeah. Why are you running? Bystander hero B. Reset Damn. the stage. We got five in. Wait, what is? Ah, uh, okay. This. So the but hero has still little... so many more to go. Yeah, the hero has eleven endings. Underling has nine. Maiden has eleven, and Overlord has ten. I have more endings than you to read. Damn. Oh, we can see! <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, so there's something with the Overlord here that we haven't unlocked. Hmm. Wait, so Hero slays the demons. Hero slaughters his way through the castle. Underling is hungry. And then we get a bad ending. Hmm. Do we want to go through each of the characters, just like, try and get all of their endings and then go through all of them, like, one by one? Yeah, we can do that. Try to reach the true endings. Oh yeah, there is one final ending in each of them. Oh. Which takes, a, seems like a confusing path to get to. Hmm. So, we need Hungry... Wait, okay. So... The hero is dutiful, both times, and then the underling needs to be hungry, and I think that's all we need to get to there, it seems. Wait, so, so the underling's just gonna eat the maiden? Yeah. Damn, that's so sad. So, we'll skip the first bit, slaughter them, slaughter oh. them, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, you gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the maiden. These are all evil demons anyway. The world is so much safer with them gone. That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after another on your way to the Overlord's chambers. The Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all of her soldiers. Get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a convincing act, but you won't be fooled. The maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can only see one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her, in fact. It's, it's possible she's already been devoured. Oh. Thinking about that poor maiden's fate fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You've become strong from the hordes of demons you took down before this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. Oh my god. You cut it a piece of the Overlord has fallen. Oh. <laughs> you breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not yet finished. You search the castle, unfortunately you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. Oh, great evil has been banished from this world, but what does this matter if you were too weak to save someone? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. <laughs> you return to the Overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape and bring back to, to bring back to the village. Surely a great victory will be celebrated. <laughs> Failed hero. You just murdered everyone for no reason. Okay. So if we, I'm gonna, we're, I'm gonna try and leave that one for last. So something, the Overlord needs to do something here. Kira flees, <laughs> and then. Okay, wait. We go this route, so... Hero flees. Hero is let into the castle without issues. Hero reaches the Overlord, everything is fine. Oh, I don't actually have the option to go that way. Okay, if we get- if we go in, after- with Hungary. Fresh a bit, why is the castle burning down? Oh, uh, the- we- well, we actually- we don't know why the castle burnt down at this moment. Hmm, it just burnt down because yeah. why not, I guess. Okay, flee like a coward, and then ask if they'll let you in. Milo? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you go up to the nearest team and explain why you've come here. They stare you down, you don't feel very comfortable. But they seem to trust you and ex escort you directly to the Overlord's chamber. That was easy. The Overlord is alone, and you ask about the main, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says that she wishes she could help you, but you're the first human that's come here in forever. At least she knows that she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her. Seeing as she's a demon and all, but you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. Oh, she oh, just died. Hero, yeah. right? Fair enough. Useless Whoa. hero. <laughs> Welcome, Muffin. There's no character Hi, for Muffin. you to be. Oh. We've already picked Muffin, out characters. Muffin, do you want a character? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. I'm eating pasta, fuck off. <laughs> Damn, I could, I could do with some pasta. Okay, you've missed seven endings so far. I um, was in here for when you died as a useless hero. Uh, <laughs> Tragic so, hero, sorry, not useless. Yeah, we just got the useless hero. Um, Hell yeah. I think we need to play some other characters to unlock the other options. 
Probably. Uh, what do we want to make the hero? Do we want to make the hero kill everything, or...? Oh. Hmm. Kill slaughter, everything. Slaughter all the demons, try to kill the overlord, and prefers not to... Oh wait, no. Prefers not to solve things through violence, leave that off. And... We'll go, we'll turn, we'll make the underling not hungry, and we'll follow the maiden. You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You were told that you were fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity? Who knows? You're in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have been born in into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were just to hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon, just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, you have a, a demon... You have a cream car, I instantly hate you. <laughs> Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty no, scary. No, I dropped the noodle! Where'd it go? Um... Where'd it go? What the fuck? Wait. Well, I'm gonna be polite and noodle? see what goes on. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening to you, which is a little irritating. They agree to take you to their master, nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. It turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens, or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that the demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then, a hero would come to rescue you. Uh, you don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home. Stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you. And little by little, you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she commands her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that that must be why you've never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express w your you demon lord. <laughs> You express nice. your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you th you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but <laughs> it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. You may be different, but really they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Stop fucking hitting me! It's just, it's just, it's not me! It's just, it's just, <laughs> even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than I the don't want. Way of things that were back home. <laughs> I'm almost sorry! <laughs> you kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I just heard everything hit me at once. Did you just refund like all of them? Yes. Hold on, I got That was a 40, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. But then, a hero barges into the room. His clothes are stained by a dark liquid. It's dripping from his weapon, too. You realize it must hey, be Peter. demon blood. What? Can I do join? Sure. Like the voice chat? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have four people in here, but only two people voicing. <laughs> 
You realize it must be demon blood. Something horrible has happened. The hero suddenly dashes towards the overlord, sword drawn. Protect her or do nothing. Kill. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's not an option! <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, two options and that is not one of them. <laughs> Just wondering why I got a bunch of points. You know, I want to. I want to see what happens when I protect her. I'm gonna ignore you, Milo. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you selflessly throw no, yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. <gasps> it's oh, funny. You think you bad. never could have imagined that this would be the way that you die. The roles are all switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. <laughs> you were glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out alright for your new friend. Sacrificial Maiden End. We have more options now for Maiden. Oh goodness, everyone is throwing stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I need to unlock more uh, Overlord options to do more hero stuff. Um, I should do my dishes, but I won't because dishes are for losers and I can't be fucked. It's a bunch of underling stuff. There's a bunch of <laughs> Overlord <laughs> options. Oh, but Muffin, uh, if you do your dishes now, it'd be easier. You guys know where I can buy fake plants? <laughs> Take plants? Oh, okay, more. Yeah, we walked we past a bunch. We couldn't find any. No, we did. Really? What? You guys they have were just too big. I want, like, succulents to match with, like, yeah, the they, rest. Yeah, they have no, nice live ones I don't, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't want live ones. I have live ones. Yeah. Overlord time. I can give you some more live ones. I don't yeah. need more live ones. I have a dad who's like, oh, I can give you more plants. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nun who does that. Um, He's like, I have so many plants. Could you just take some? And I do. <laughs> And then now I've got four of the fuckers. I was supposed to have two. They thank you. They just. Are you so far away from the mic? Didn't realize AJ was here. Thank you. I have to lose Kari after you. Who knows what? You have nothing better to do today, so you decided that for a little while. Being the Overlord sure is great. Yeah. You awake to a knock at your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. It's a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. <laughs> the maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impeding capture, so she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans I have to my capture done, any like, humans. Done for a bit. I just forgot about it. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I be more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. You think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stays and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. Oh my god, the overlord's in love. <laughs> They're lesbians! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? We found lesbians. They're in love. You wonder what, what to say. A uh, bad end theater. Okay. Oh, if you go on Discord, it should show the yeah. screenshot. Oh, I didn't read it. <laughs> no, oh my no. god. Um, oh, what? I don't know what we're doing, but I won't like, look at anything about it either. No. <laughs> Every Literally bad. everyone was like, yes, it's lesbians. <laughs> I probably saw it, but I haven't got my glasses on. I couldn't read it. <laughs> you can't on. see the lesbians. No, in the like um, You're missing voice out things, on the... it should show like a stream. Um, hello, you she'd see... better go home. Like, like, yeah, for you know how I was to like, occasionally complain that like my um Powerball would just get fucking yeeted off my desk? Yeah. It's because the bits of tile that I have keeping my computer like slightly <laughs> upright. Don't question that one. Um. Uh, like, a uh, really, really home. long, so I might get Dad to fix them. <laughs> yes. Make them shorter. You, you'll love to have all the conversations in the world with your, new, with your new friend. But yeah, I don't know, just I, don't, friends. I don't have hand tracking, so you can't see me doing the, the quote marks. <laughs> you can just get you, put your, um, the, uh, <laughs> camera on. Yeah. 
But that's like a Peter, do you know about Gaylord Indian? What? <laughs> it's a um it's a it's an Indian restaurant, a fine dining Indian oh, restaurant. Oh yeah. <laughs> in the in Spencer Street. Yeah. I was sent it by someone and it was like, yeah, have Pride Parade there. Pride. Have Pride Parade. <laughs> have Pride there. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> but it was like, oh, there's only forty like um there's only forty like up to forty for like events and shit, and it's like there's only forty gay people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The perfect amount. You'd love to have all the conversations in the world with your new friend, but having a human girl here will definitely cause trouble. Yes, human girl here will cause trouble. <laughs> you put on your mean face and tell her to get lost, but the maiden turns out to be very stubborn. You don't want to hurt her, but you also really want her to leave in case something bad happens. This whole situation is just asking for trouble, you think. Against your better judgement, you let her hang out for a little while longer. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kinds of things. You also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, as to not agitate them and get heroes sent out, out after you. That explains why the people of my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her, thank you. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole no, time, and that you were actually super evil all along. The all right, maiden boys. laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. She can't- right. she can't tell if she's into you or not. It is gay. <laughs> oh, so they weren't just queerbaiting yes. us. Sorry, I'm so used to being queerbaited. I came from Voltron. Like, what do you think I am? And I can't pay attention to Dream. I'm so used to being queerbaited. No, this is just straight up gay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now I'm kind of disappointed. I expected to be queer baited and then it'd be like super straight in the end where like the Overlord finds some off man that she's going to fall in love with. Nah, Overlord right? hooks up with Underling and Maiden gets with Hero. <laughs> Fucking generic straight shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Underling has like underneath like what he looks like. You know how he looks really like puny and twinkish? No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. He That's takes incorrect. the shirt off and becomes fucking He, he takes the shirt off and he is absolutely <laughs> fucking massively built, right? But he doesn't the have height boots. Difference devs definitely, the height difference devs definitely know their gay shit. <laughs> you notice the sounds of battle having have started ringing through your castle halls. The maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into your room. But ah, he cake. shouldn't have made it here. <laughs> Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there, unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As Aww. the maiden speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servants' bodies and pieces all strewn about your castle has really taken it out of you. That hero did this? There's so much blood. Why? Did he come for the boys. maiden? Did he think Pure she needed rescuing? There was no one for there was no one for this hero to save here. There was never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out yep. like this? The maiden shouts something behind you. And you turn just in time to see her throw herself between you and the hero's blade. It pierces her I've chest and she mistakes. falls to the floor, lifeless. As the pool of blood beneath her grows, so does your rage. This hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated. But your hatred for the human has not yet been sated. You go on to destroy them all and become ruler of the entire world. Vengeful overlord Damn. of MA. This is what happens That's when you mess with lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I can't fucking get my cake to close. I do like how you're like, you know, it's like, oh my god, she's been killed, and then I almost fucking drop my cake onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> she's oh no, she's almost dead. My cake! <laughs> okay. I want to see more of 
the overwater. They things. killed gays. This is this is a hate crime. <laughs> this is a hate crime. Rule number Total. one. <laughs> Don't drop cake. Okay, Overlord lets the underling have the oh, day wait off. Wait a minute. Overlord allows the maiden to stay in chat, and the hero is dutiful. Will lead to a different. Oh, thing. I almost died. So, dutiful hero. Um. Let the Nets, underling. Women. Boopies. <laughs> Absolute bohonka okay. honkas. Skip. Uh, grant them the day off. Skip. Let her stay. You can't bring yourself to send this maiden away. She just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing I might, stories. I might about dip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only because I'm getting messages by VJ. Fair. Oh. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kind of things. You also bring up how you instruct how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, as not to agitate them and get heroes sent out after you. That explains why the people of my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear Wait a thing. Wait My drawing tablet has a crack in it. <laughs> Ooh, well, I'm buying good. a new one soon anyway, but like... <laughs> nice. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. In the history books, they're gonna say the inciting incident for the end of the world was her best friend dying. <laughs> this maiden is different. You joked that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You notice the sounds of battle have started ringing through the castle halls. The maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her, reassure her it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into your room, but he shouldn't have made it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero stands there unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the maiden speaks to him, trying to explain explain the situation, you move past the heroes and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servants' bodies and pieces all strewn about your castle has really taken it out of you. The he that hero did this? There's so much blood. Why? Did he come here for the maiden? Did he think she needed rescuing? There was no one for this hero to save here. There was never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? The hero starts babbling it insincere apologies and excuses, realizing his wrongdoing, but you are far beyond hearing that kind of bullshit. You have had it with these humans always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. <laughs> when you regain control, there is nothing left of the hero. The maiden has fled in terror. You are alone. Oh. Wrathful overlord. You're so much better at reading than you let on. You're making me feel like a dumbass. <laughs> it's just... uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's because it's repeating the things in my <laughs> Can I get any more Overlord endings at the moment? I can get... Heroic. I can get the that one. And I can get Diplomatic. And then I'll have to do Maiden to get any more Overlord endings. Damn. So, I need the hero to be diplomatic. Okay. So, let's the servant go, allows the Maiden to stay in chat, dutiful... Wait, no. Diplomatic. And then I get a choice. So, if I turn dutiful off... Um, skip, grant him the day off, let her stay for a while. Can't help, last chat. Blinds, you're surprised, thank you. Maiden is different, you joke. Maiden loss. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You're interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time it's a hero. He was apparently searching for the maiden who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all! 
I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Keep her here or let them go. Hmm. <laughs> Keep them. Possessive. The maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. My lads, it's you. Oh, if you won't let her go. Maybe you <laughs> demons are evil after all, and if you are, <laughs> I'll be forced to vanquish you! <laughs> That's you his have, voice now. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before he can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. You don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. You take a step towards the maiden, then she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. You'll be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. Selfish overlord. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are there any other options I can get to? Not that I can see. There's a bunch. We got unlocked a couple new hero endings. We need to do more mated stuff and eventually do more underling stuff. The underling has the least amount of endings. Less reading for me. Yeah, I have more endings than you to read overall. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I chose the ones I did. Um, what can I... What can we do for Underling? Underling has a choice there that we didn't do. So we have to get every choice right in every ending to get to the true ending. Oh, that's a lot of choices. Yeah. So we have to set up every character to do the, a specific thing. Oh, hmm. So we have to at least play through of all of them to unlock all of their different choices. Yeah. Don't give up, surely there's a good ending somewhere. <laughs> I think that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this all about bad endings? Yeah. Um... If... Okay, so if the Overlord is a tyrant, then that gives us a new option. We never looked at the, um, Underling Devouring. Hmm. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna- we're gonna give you more reading to do, I'm making the Overlord a tyrant. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember the beginning. So. You are a demon Underling in a servant... In, in, in service. service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place staring into nothing. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. If you, yeah, you decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. She gives you an earful about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the overlord to your friend. They agree that she's kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off of her throne. You only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into an assassination plot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you should probably steer this into a responsible direction. Let's overthrow her, or let's not. OVERTHROW! Down yeah. with the monarchy! No, you're 
think of this horrible lord holding you and your friends back. You agree that it's time for a change of management. Your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord. Ooh. You like the sound of that. You announce your first act of rebellion to take the day off like you wanted. Your friends aren't very impressed. You assure them you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back, which satisfies them. You sneak out of the castle to have some fun. Change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you and she says she has a favour to ask. You consider your options. We haven't eaten her yet. That's true. We're gonna have to get eaten. Maidens aren't the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. You start devouring the maiden without so much as a second thought and feel quite proud of that. Oh my god. Other, hum <laughs> Other humans would surely praise you with crosses if they were around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. There was fucking <laughs> nothing left. Um, time to find an audience for your evil deeds. You wander into the nearby village. People are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think that's pretty rude of them. Oh, You haven't even done anything yet. Put on a show or change your mind and laugh. Hmm. Put on a show, let's eat everyone. <laughs> You attack the nearest human, he is old and weak, and his bones crunch delightfully. Oh, cool. <laughs> poor old guy. The audience screams, grow louder, applause. You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun, I should have taken up revenge like this a lot sooner. As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running towards you. He takes you out in one swift blow, you're just a demon underlick after all. That's so sad. As you die, you think that was totally worth it. RIP. Curtain closes. Performer underling end. Damn. We've got more options for underling now. Ooh. We need more maiden options. No maidens? <laughs> okay. If we... We're disloyal. And... Hungry. No. If we're disloyal... Well, yeah, disloyal, hungry. Then return to the castle. We get a different ending. And then we get another ending of the hero is dutiful. Well, they're not at the moment. So, skip. Let's overthrow. Skip. Gobble her up. Skip. Change your mind and leave. Smiley. <laughs> you figure out if uh, people are this upset just at the side of you, they won't fully appreciate any terrible acts you commit. Oh. Also, they might fight back. That probably wouldn't end well. You're just one little underling after all. Enough after all. This little day has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, thinking you'll take a nap. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake up, wake you up, rude. They're very eager to talk about the whole, to talk to you about the whole kill the overlord plan. You admit you haven't given it much thought and only just now remembered it was a thing. Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. Okay, let's kill the mm. overlord. She's actually not so bad. Oh. You could kill the overlord. You tell them you were just joking and clarify that you're totally in to win it. And you, they say you are always terrible with jokes. 
Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it would be to end up on the wrong side of things. As if this assassination doesn't deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of fe uh, fox confidence, oh, worry so. about. How do you pronounce that word then? <laughs> Far? Oh, the that's fox, probably the, how. Isn't it? Oh, it's yeah, far, 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 far confidence. Oh, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go far, about right. this. They figured they'd just lock her in a room set on fire. What a uh -huh. stupid plan. It could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of direct chinless thugs and useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. There'd probably be casualties if you fought. If you fought her head on. Oh, I can't fucking. <laughs> yeah. And while. <laughs> and while shall we deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it'd probably go the. It, it's probably the wrong way to go. Oh my god, I cannot <laughs> fucking talk properly. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassination. You didn't we want the it to come down to this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> but you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassin assassinate the overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You sneak into the overlord's room. She's taking a nap like usual. Oh no. <laughs> This is almost too easy. You silently approach the master. She looks so peaceful. Time to die. Chicken out. Oh, time to die. <laughs> you figured the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat, so you do just that. She wakes up, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. Oh, <laughs> That felt terrible. You remind yourself that it was either her or you, and you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. That's so sad. You leave the room to find your friends just waiting outside. They look pleased, only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. <laughs> you are the new ruler of this castle, your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you have betrayed your overlord. Bailey, what are you doing in my chat? I watch Muffin instead. <laughs> okay, we have three options for underling now. Damn. And we've only got two for Maiden. So what Maiden stuff can we do? Maiden meets the Overlord. Hey, wait. I think... Did I make... Does it... Ch no, it doesn't change the glow of the line. <laughs> I thought the highlighted line might have been, like, what the action is set. So... Uh. No, that's not that's not the Bailey in a uh, different Bailey, Riley. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not AIE Bailey. Um this line. I'm just looking at all the different endings that I sh can get. Maiden stays. Diplomatic. Possessive. Disloyal. I can. I can. I think I can get to the um, true ending for Maiden. <laughs> at this point. But also, I want to see all the other endings first. So. It doesn't matter if it's antisocial or not, I can still stay and 
if the hero is diplomatic, but the overlord is obsessive, that's a different ending. And if the underling is disloyal, that's a different ending as well. So, possessive, diplomatic, and underling is nothing, we'll get that ending first. Um, introduce yourself. Oh, whoops, I missed. I can't go back, okay. Wait, does that. It does! Okay. Maybe everything I said is to deceive you. What would you do if I turned over to be evil? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than the way the things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you the time to feel free. Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. As you think that, a hero enters the room. You're surprised to see him at first until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks what's going on. You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. You apologize for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the letter, the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety, but the overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. Oh, if you won't let her go, maybe you <laughs> demons are evil after all. And if you are... <laughs> I'll be forced to make my shoe. Go up. It's fucking goofy. <laughs> Yuck. You <laughs> leave me Yuck. no choice. The Overlord suddenly jumps oh. to the hero. She tears into him with her claws. No, you want goofy. to cry out, but the screams catch. The scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. Had she really been lying to you all along? You wonder. Is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? The Overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. So... Captured Maiden. <laughs> um, what was the other one? If the... If the underling is disloyal. Okay, skip. Introduce. Skip. Oh, that's way too much got skipped there. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> okay, we saw that. You leave me no choice. I suddenly jumped. She went to cry out. Has she really been lying? Everyone approaches you. Expression is complicated. Being captured. But the Overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped her. Whatever held back, whatever held back her screen before doesn't stop you this time. The Overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with all that blood. Everyone stop moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings' heavy breathing. You thank them for what they've done, even though it was awful. You feel you've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you, confused for a moment, but they then puff out their chest. Oh, uh, you should probably go home, this place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. You decide never to leave home again for the rest of your life. <laughs> Escaped maiden, and Damn. Me. I still haven't found another option. For the maiden. Mm. Oh, it's when. Okay, it's when the Overlord is antisocial. This is the next option. Uh -uh. And then there's a hero option that we don't have yet. Okay. So, antisocial. Skip. Introduce. Skip. Overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude. You just got here. Oh, That's so sad. Obey. 
You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. He asks you what you're doing. Uh, don't you know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? You explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think you're lying to him. He asks if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What nerve? You are very upset that this so-called hero would treat you this way and leave in a huff. You return to the village alone. Everyone was very worried about you. They surround you with thousands of questions and you tell them your story. As you explain that the Overlord never had any intention to harm anyone here, you notice the look of uncertainty in the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. You are loudly interrupted by an older man who rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. The crowd is growing unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero, they ask. You could not have possibly escaped the overlord of your own, on your own without harm. Huh. You must be conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone into believing that they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be, so they say. Have the people of your village always been this blind, blinded by their fears and hatred of things they've never cared to know? You wonder how you missed that before. You are seized by the crowd and voices from all sides are calling for public execution. You were to be burned at the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder would it have been better to hide the truth. You don't like the thought of that. You have always lived honestly, so why has this happened? Why are you being punished? <laughs> you hear the dissenting voices of your family and neighbours, but they, like you, are powerless against the momentum. They can only watch as you burn, and you can only cry for them. <laughs> you are so, so sorry. Executed God maiden. Damn. Okay, we have a third option. Maiden was obedient. Okay, wait, we can get another- we can get one more ending with Maiden before we need to go back to Hero. Can we get any more? Damn. We can get one more- Oops, we can get two more endings with Overlord. <laughs> and I think we can- well, we can almost get every Hero ending. And... We're close to every underling ending as well. Damn. The Maiden seems like the most complicated route. <laughs> okay, so... Executed. So I can't... ...do that yet, because the hero doesn't have that choice. Uh, the, but if the Maiden stays... Oh, I haven't let the Overlord be killed. Damn. I'm stupid. Skip. Introduce. Skip. Do nothing. The hero's blade pierces the Overlord, and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The Overlord is slain. The hero smiles and holds out his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly, you take his hand. <laughs> The hero guides you through the castle, past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then, you can't escape the smell. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle, and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities regardless. <laughs> Complacent maiden. It's so sad. Um, I don't think that any more maiden endings we can get at the minute unless we go to hero. Let's do more hero then. We need. Okay, so once we once we do, we only need to do one more hero path, which will give us his last choice. And then, once we do that, we can do the Maiden and Underling to get the last things for that, and we can almost get to the true ending for yeah. them. 
So we need antisocial, hero flees, maiden is obedient. Obedient, antisocial, and I think hero begins antisocial, hero flees. Okay, we have to flee. So, skip, flee like a coward, forgetting your pride, can't return, you wander, you take your chances at the castle. Okay. On your way to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading toward the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact man you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. As you ask a maiden what she's doing, she doesn't know what the Overlord's castle is like. Right there, it's dangerous. Or doesn't she know it? <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> the maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and it turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Believe her story, or she can't be trusted. Believe the story. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you, even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You feel you, you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about the demons all along. The townspeople must be informed of this immediately. Are they both just going to get burned? <laughs> the two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried, they praised you for your bravery. But the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look to you for explanation. You politely inform them that it isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how little they trust her, this maiden story. You totally believe her, but to uh, play, placate, placate, placate these, yeah, that word, these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers, you're too busy thinking about what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town's elder breaks for the voice breaks out of your breaks you the out of breaks your <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> he implores you to meet up with the overlord immediately, and he says they'll keep an eye on the maiden if until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. <laughs> her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. Oh, people are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already. But that doesn't sound like a very heroic task can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch her and to catch up to her and talk the demons to the demons in order to clear up this must misunderstanding. You valiantly dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. But you were too late. <laughs> Through the unguarded gate she spotted a group of demons surrounding a body. <laughs> The maiden, she was a fool to have trusted the demons after all. You hear her blood is boiling, you'll avenge her death. You charge through the gates to eliminate every demon you see. What the fuck are you doing <laughs> killing all my soldiers? <laughs> the overlord is angry. You now have to exterminate her on all of demon kind. Bro, that was the first swear word in this. No, this is the second Clashing. one. Overlord said is bullshit it? earlier. Oh. <laughs> you clash again, nil again, but the Overlord isn't going down easily. You're both dangerously low on health when...
Everything goes black. Your quest has come to an abrupt end. Unlucky hero. <laughs> oh, poor little dude. Okay, we have all four options now for the hero, so we can set up any ending that requires the hero to get our next choice. So, we can set up the ending to get the next maiden choice. Um, can we set up the ending to get the next... Yes? Is this a choice? This doesn't look like a choice, it leads to an ending we've already got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's it's blank, so. Hmm. And... Yes, we have to get it again. <laughs> yeah. So, granted the day off. Underling brings the maid into the castle. It's disloyal, antisocial, <laughs> obedient, trusting. Okay, so. Antisocial, trusting, disloyal. Wait, have I got everything set properly already for that? Antisocial, obedient, trusting. Yeah, that's all we need. And then we don't have the maiden option, so I think it will take us down to our other option. Or do you want to? Do you want to take a break from reading and do a different a maiden or overlord? Oh, story? I don't mind. I don't mind. I can keep reading. So. We need to be polite and then disloyal. Okay, skip all that. Here are out. Oh. Okay. There we go. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude, I know that. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard, you ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution, they're gonna get rid of the whole- rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out and being pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with. That sounds like a lot of trouble, how about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. You have to be disloyal. Oh no, you tell them you were just joking and clarify that you're totally in with it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing Overlord, you know how bad it would be to end up on the wrong side of things. If the assassin- and if this assassination- uh, that word does- deal <laughs> doesn't pan out. You can always <laughs> pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of faux confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. They figured they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realise your friends are just a bunch of directionless slugs, useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. They're probably casualties if you fought her head on. And whilst showy deaths makes a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it'd probably be the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it, want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll be in. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire conversation. <laughs> Gasp! It would be bad for you if the Overlord found out about this. Use the maiden for killing practice. Oh and God! Her in the dungeon. <laughs> to the dungeon. <laughs> You and your friend seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty. Save the for the decorative skulls, they're only there to make it feel more spooky. The maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. But now a hero has arrived at the front gates. 
He's asking about a maiden, perhaps the one that you just locked up. The gatekeeper who mustn't have seen who must have seen anything tells the hero exactly what happened. What an idiot you think. Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells, prepare to face no oh. Yeah, I'm also the hero. Prepare yeah. to face justice! <laughs> and other s such cliche, cliche hero lines before driving your sword to the gatekeeper's torso. No! You're small compared to a lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting cut up by that sword. You get to thinking, if this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favour. <laughs> You wait for things to die down before poking your head out. You spot the Overlord heroes locked in battle. They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening presents yourself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? You don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. Oh. You tackle her and rip her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. Oh. <laughs> Finish off the hero next. She can't let him revive and come after you later. Kind of cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. Oh. <laughs> Anyone who managed to survive come crawling out of their hiding places. You are the new ruler at this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you, as you had betrayed your overlord. Lord Underling. Damn. When you become was... the Lord Underling. Oh yeah, we did get the new choice, we got capped up. Ooh. So we have all four choices for your two characters. Hell yeah. Okay. Can we get? No, I need to. I need to do maiden to get the all the endings for hero. Hero's closest to getting all the endings. I think five out of eleven. Yeah. Oh no, maiden is six out of eleven. Damn. Um. So we need antisocial, obedient, trusting. Maiden returns. To the Overlord alone. Disloyal captor. Okay. If he's just disloyal, that's fine. Um, I think that's all we need. We only need the hero to be trusting, right? Yeah. So, skip. Introduce yourself. Skip. Obey her. You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. He asks you what you're doing. Don't you know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? You explain everything that happened. He is very surprised that demons don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. The two of you return to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They had all been so worried, and are very glad the, vero the hero brought you back. You quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued, because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers seem confused and look to the hero for an explanation. He tells them he only ran into you on his way to the castle, and that it, this isn't really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the Overlord, and that she's not actually interested in capturing maidens, or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel a little miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours, but you don't say anything about it. The hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go to talk to the demons himself, just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You hear words like trickery and demon sympathizer, sympathizer being thrown around, which makes you fr uh, frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. An old man implores the hero to go speak with the Overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. 
Because, of course, if you're conspiring with demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. You're, you'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the Overlord, not your fellow countrymen. Leave on my own. That's what I need those ethics. You can prove yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for the Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. A suspicious group of demons stands just outside the entrance. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. They immediately notice you overheard them. The underling you recognize from before is, is the first to do something about it. Oh, oh, this is just the way it has to be! They suddenly attack you in the that moment you regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. Slaughtered maiden ending. I just realized, um, I'm playing, the, I'm voicing the two female characters, you're voicing the male and the non-binary. Hell yeah. <laughs> the um, way it has to be. Now I just need to do that again, but capped up. So, skip, introduce, skip, Obey, skip, leave on my own. You can prove, make, run, the suspicious group of demons to talk about assassinating. They immediately notice. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protest. You can't believe you escaped, possibly being thrown in a cell back in your village, only to be tossed in this awful place. This is terrible. Who's going to keep those demons from harming the Overlord? You hope she can fend for herself. You sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing throughout the halls. Did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You continue to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, oh. you rot in that cell. Oh, that's so Prison sad. R.I.P. Maiden. Um. Oh, I forgot to run off with the hero. That's also an option. Ah. And then, then we'll only have- we only have three endings left with Maiden. Oh, dang. Okay, introduce. Obey. Uh, grab the hero and run. You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to warn her. The hero shakes his head. He says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world is better off with less of them. This isn't right. You think, what kind of hero passed up the chance to save a life? The demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle, and the unreliable hero follows shortly after. You burst into the Overlord's room, all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The Overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underling you recognize from before barges in, calling you a liar. You're surprised they were part of this evil plot. They seem so nice. The other demons come in right after them, saying the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now, it's really stressing you out. You are relieved when the Overlord demands silence. She threatens them with violence, and you think she is very Overlord-like in this moment. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. You watch as it pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this, and thinking that must have jinxed it because you now you're the room is engulfed in flames. If only you had ignored those demons before, you and the hero would have stumbled into the, wouldn't have stumbled into the situation. If you had just pretended not to hear them, if you had, if you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That path isn't an option for you. You think that no matter what, you'll always strive for the path where everyone survives. It must exist. It simply must. The Overlord seizes her underling, they beg for their life, you pray you don't know what else to do, so you just pray. The Overlord's claws pierce the underling's chest, they scream an awful scream. She digs and twists her claws into the poor thing while you continue to pray. But there's no saying 
There's no saving any of you now. You, the Overlord, the hero, and the underlings' corpses are consumed by the flames. Oh. Devout made it to end. Damn. God damn it, Muffin, you're in the way of my checking the endings. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, wait. Huh? Oh! I- I got that ending. <laughs> okay, I- Okay, if I turned these off, then I will get the other ending. Introduce. Uh -oh. Obey. Uh, leave on my own. Improve. Run. Oh, wait. That's different. As you get closer, you start to notice the tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful blue sky. The castle is engulfed in flames. What in God's name could have happened? You scan the fleeing demons, but the Overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgement, you rush into the burning castle to find it. You quickly reach the Overlord's room, but the doors are shut tight, the handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open, you pound your fists against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick, you can hardly breathe now. You realise you haven't got much time left now. You desperately head towards the stairs to save yourself, but the fire spreads faster than you expect. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke, a maiden saving the Overlord? If you had just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon Bullshit. fire cleanse your rotten soul. Selfless maiden and a... Okay, the only thing we're missing now is the Overlord's final choice to get the final ending for Maiden. Uh. Um, we can get every... We can get every ending ex except for the one that requires the Overlord to make a choice. Yeah. So... I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock the... I didn't check which ones I need. Wait, I need to go back. Back to the character select. I don't know which options to get there. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I'm a tyrant or not. Um, but I have to be antisocial. The maiden has to be obedient. The hero has to be trusting, and the maiden must be resolute, and the underling must be disloyal. Resolute. Trusting. I think that's everything. Okay, so skip that. Uh, give him the day off. Tell her she better go home. Maiden does what she's told and takes her leave. You figure you may as well go back to bed now. But you don't get to rest for very long. The maiden suddenly bursts into your room, accompanied by a hero. She's trying to frantically communicate something to you, but you're still half asleep. They tell you a group of demons is after your life. You still don't grasp the urgency of the situation. One of your underlings barge in next, shouting that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was the f that first underling's plan. Everyone is shouting over each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell for all of them to shut the traps. You have no doubt that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgement and lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone, to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. Saying that made you feel very Overlord-like. <laughs> you aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. The group of demons start muttering something about going back to Plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. You, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underling pounds on the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. So this is how you'll die, burned alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder of your curse as well. 
You're so filled with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you've grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. They cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into their plot, knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. They cry oh. that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. You gotta save them. Forgive them. That'll give me the true ending if I forgive them. Oh, Take retribution. I think... Oh. Actually, I don't think it matters. I think it'll give me the choice. I don't know. I actually don't know if it'll give me the choice if I choose the opposite thing. I'm gonna be merciful. You release the underling. Uh. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You all, you'll all burn together. <laughs> Overlord's true end. Damn. Before you've you just burned. Before you've taken a break to reset the story once again, you pause for a moment. True end, you say to yourself. What was the point of all my efforts if the true ending is this terrible? You must have forgotten where you were. This is bad end theatre. Is the pain sitting in? Oh, but you should have been well aware of what you'd be shown when you entered this place. It's a problem I've seen quite often. At some point, you grew attached to my little cast. You started to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. But you aren't going to find that here, in my theatre. My love, my lovingly crafted labyrinth of suffering. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You're making great progress. The choice to continue on the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. Okay. So that's... I have a bunch of endings for Overlord still to get, but that's Overlord's true ending. Yeah. Which, but that means we have every choice now, and we can go back. Do we want to go do all of here? Do we want to do them in order? Hero, made it, uh, underling. Yeah, we can do them in order. Now that we have every choice. Yeah. Um, it means I've got to read again. This <laughs> is my terrible reading skills. Okay, so we need antisocial, hero flees, obedient. And that leads to an ending we haven't gotten yet. So antisocial, obedient. What do we need to do? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? I'm not, we just have to not be trusting. Okay. Don't trust it. I'll... So... Have... I don't remember. Did we have to flee? Um... <laughs> maybe. I could've... Uh, she can't be trusted. Yes. You aren't sure you should listen to this maiden. You've been taught your whole life that demons are evil. You ask if she's, or sh if she's sure about all this, but she gets very upset that you think she would lie to you. She storms off before you can say anything else. You decide to return to the village, certain that she must have been the kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Glad that took care of itself. You take your time walking home. Job well done today. You think she's healthy. You didn't do anything. <laughs> As you walk past the town square and you notice the whole village is crowded around, is that the maiden you saw earlier? Oh god, she's bound to the wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Oh, smoke begins to rise and you stand idly by as flames consume your mate. Consume the mate. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. She seemed nice though, you think. But evil comes in all forms, you re reassure yourself. You decide to call it a day and return to your house. But you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Data here. Oh. <laughs> he just watches her die. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's horrible. So, uh, hero flees, then diplomatic. Hero reaches the Overlord's room, and the Overlord is possessive. Right. Yeah, all I need is the Overlord being possessive. I just all need right. the hero to reach the Overlord room when everything is fine. 
So everything is fine. Polite, kind, not antisocial, and possessive. Yeah. So we need to flee. Diplomatic. Um. Okay. Uh. I think asked the maiden what's going on. The maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she came on her own, here on her own volition. That was a pretty dangerous thing for her to do, but no one got hurt, so at least there's that. You ask her to return to town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. But the Overlord objects to this. The Maiden tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The Maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to mediate situa situations like this. You tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil, so you'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. Oh no! The Overlord pauses before suddenly jumping on you. You are helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. How horrible. You came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the Maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive hero. Damn. Um, okay, now we're getting to the longer sides for the more- we have to make more correct options to get to specific endings. Yeah. Okay, so. Hero slaughters his way through the castle. Hero finds the maiden overlord is upset. Hero tries to slay the overlord. Um, so we just need to kill everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, which ending do you want first? you want to try and... Oh, we oh, can destroy. I just realised it's the... It depends on the maiden's choice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams and falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You smile. Oh, you smile, offering the maiden your hand. She takes it. After a slight hesitation, she must be surprised at how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. She must be too shy to speak. The villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done. Slaying the overlord and saving a hostage, they throw a huge celebration in your name. You're remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. Triumphant yeah. hero and... Now we <laughs> Just need... killing innocent people. ...dies to protect the overlord. So, dutiful, dutiful. Destroy the Overlord. You launch forward to put an end to the evil Overlord. But your blade pierces the Maiden instead. She has sacrificed herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The Overlord wails. Why did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. The Overlord strikes at you in a vengeful rage. You parry, and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands, your clothes. Blood. Blood. So much blood. You look to the fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why would she protect the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by some demonic magic. You pick up the Overlord's head, wrapping it in your cape. And begin your long journey back to town. 
You will say that you are too late, that nothing would be done, that nothing could be done for the girl, but the Overlord is slain. There will be celebration. Loyal hero. Okay. Two more endings. Let's go. So, we need to flee, diplomatic, hero reaches, and then disloyal. And then the maiden hears the plot. So. Wait, so. Flee, diplomatic, hero reaches, disloyal. And it over here's the plot. I think that's everything that we need. Okay, turn possessive off. Yeah. So skip, flee, skip, diplomatic. Oh, you go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. But they seem to trust you and ex escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. The Overlord and Maiden seem to be in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. You look at- you all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Ask the Maiden what's going on. The Maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she's come here on her own volition. It was a pretty dangerous thing of her to do, but no one got hurt, so at least it's that. You'll ask her to return to the town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. The Overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you casually exit the castle. You pause when you see a group of suspect suspicious demons standing over the entrance. Oh, standing near the entrance. They're talking about assassinating their Overlord. This proves to you that demons are really foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the Maiden is thinking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that could be destroyed. That should be destroyed. There are some creatures that have just noticed you eavesdropping. The Maiden takes off into the castle. You have no clue, uh, no choice but to follow. You burst into the Overlord's room. The Maiden frantically tries to communicate with you, but you just overheard what what you just overheard. A demon? A, a, a demon <laughs> hunter is <laughs> calling you lies. I like that the colors are like becoming all of the characters' ones now. Yeah. It's followed by the group from the entrance who shifts the blame back to the little one. This is very nice pixel art. Yeah. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? How low can you go? <laughs> they just start doing... <laughs> I forgot what that's called. Uh, the, the when you... Go low. Yeah, go <laughs> low. You begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This overlord is no better than her subjects. You grip your sword tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden to safely, you certainly will. A group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the runt of the litter behind. You glance around for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. Oh, they're all gonna burn. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds on the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join in, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claws into the un her underling's chest, and it lets out a horrible scream. Aww. You back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. She continues to dig and twist her claws into the limp body. You can no longer watch. You look to the maiden, she's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. You have faith oh. in a time like Whoa. <laughs> yes, you have faith in a time like this, you envy her. 
I accidentally clicked the two, <laughs> the two of you, the overlord and the underlings corpses are all being consumed by flame. Damn, they just Resigned burn. hero and... Damn. Now I think if I do this and we go back to the same path, uh, flee like a coward, diplomatic, us, The next moment, the Overlord has taken hold of the Underling. It's crying for mercy. She going to kill it as retribution. The retribution. Yeah. He continues to cry and make excuses, but the Overlord does nothing. To your surprise, she lets it go. A demon's capable of mercy. You guess it. You guess it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now. <laughs> You'll all burn together. Heroes, true end. Damn. No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? I wonder what will happen when you collect them all. It's like Pokemon. Will you give in to despair, or a letter flutters down from behind, the, from beyond the curtain? You found lost letter one. Ooh. There's items? Oh, yeah, I was wondering what this question marks were. <gasps> we get items! My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this, it's unreasonable, cruel. I had to find an outlet for this grief somehow, so I decided to write, and I'll keep writing until the day you find me once more, and then maybe we can write a story together. I'm waiting for you, for that day, forever yours. Tragedy. Oh, That's so sad. The only ending we have for Maiden is true ending. So... Damn. Um... He needs to be diplomatic. He needs to be disloyal. And she needs to be merciful. I think that's all. And I need to... Oh no, Hero needs to be trusting as well. Because I need. She needs to be antisocial and I need to be obedient. Okay, so skip. He's with my headphones, I can hear this weird popping noise. Nice. <laughs> it's probably my phone, around. actually. Oh. You pray. You pray. You don't know what else to do, so you just pray. The Overlord spares the Underling. You feel relieved, but it doesn't ma make any difference. We all burn together. Made its no, true no end. Burn. A letter oh. flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter too. Keep collecting bad endings from it. Can't it? It can't end like this. You wanna? You want to answer the maiden's prayer? Wait, I want to. I don't. Wait, I want to go back. <laughs> I don't. Yes, I want to. I don't want to do anything substantial yet. I, we need to get all of the endings first. I realized yeah. after I clicked that that's something substantial, and I want to get all the endings first. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get. Gotta catch them all first. My love, I finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right. I opened my very own theater. You would be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought, if my theatre could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it, wherever you are, wherever yours, tragedy. Okay, there's a bunch of underling endings we need to get. <laughs> well, let's go get them endings. And then, uh, and then we need... Like five more. Is that not got a watermark? Okay, so you need to be a tyrant. You need to be disloyal, hungry. Returns to the castle, and then something there happens. What happens? Wait, we can get to it faster. Granted, the day off brings the maid into the castle. What gets me this ending though? Wait. 
If he's due to oh, what you, oh, I'm gonna try to fix my headphones real quick. Alright, disloyal. I'm great. Has that stopped the weird popping noise? Okay, it needs to be dutiful. Not sure what that is. It needs to be a tyrant. And I think that should be enough. So, just loyal. Gobble her up. No. Change your mind and leave. And I think we did avenge your fallen comrades last time, didn't we? Save yourself. Yeah. You look around at the lifeless, lifeless forms of those you've known for as far back as you can remember. You feel glad not to be in their shoes. Do you feel guilty to be thinking that as you flee the castle until you remember your role, not as an underling, but as a demon? It's kind of thing is expected of you. Maybe you'll start a new life far away from any humans or demons. But you'll live peacefully, alone in some deep, dark forest somewhere. Oh. Is that a underling? <laughs> oh, that's just sad. <laughs> just going to be alone okay. forever. So, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm granted a day off or not. Get to this ending. I don't know what. Okay, hero has to not be nudiful. Disloyal, diplomatic, possessive. Um. I'm trying to think about how to get to all these endings. So, underling brings the main of the castle. Disloyal, diplomatic, possessive. So, diplomatic, possessive. Okay. So, let's not. Oh, we have actually tell... never gone through this path. <laughs> oh, you tell your friends you were totally not serious about this whole thing. You're actually cool with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if the only thing you have to have to complain about is that you live so comfortably there's nothing to do. The others nod, but don't seem convinced. You say, uh, Coop. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riley, how do we say this? <laughs> yes, teach us how to say that. But you're still gonna be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friends praise you mischievous ways. Change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. Uh, it's a coup d'etat. Ah. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you, and says she has a favour to ask. You consider your options. Means take the state, okay. Here or out. A coup d'etat means good to mood take the today. state. Ah! Well, like You're in a good mood a today, kind of and a way. rather okay. cute about what the maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this kind of exciting. You hadn't guessed it would be even possible to understand each other before now. The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom the the bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. The Overlord asks you where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. You apologize for disobeying her, but hope that the maiden is interesting enough to present the, the, the right. enough present may be forgiven. The Overlord nods and says everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing 
the what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned how you can't believe you and your friends even considered overthrowing her. <laughs> Why would you tell her that? <laughs> she gives you a look and you say, That was just a joke, of course. Yeah. <laughs> she smiles and dismisses you, decide it's about time for a nap. You don't get to sleep long, your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard, you ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning to the whole revolution, they're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out, and, this, and being a pretty, pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with, eh, it sounds like a lot of trouble, how about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. You have to be disloyal. Oh. You tell them you were just joking, clarify that you're totally into winner. And they they oh. say you always. <laughs> Whether or not you actually feel like killing the overlord, you know how bad right. it would be to end up on the wrong side of things. And what, when does it change? Okay, this is when it changes. <laughs> Sneak up to the overlord, <laughs> but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. You aren't sure why, the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good a chance as any. You'll just sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. Rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. Damn. It was messier than you would have liked. The maiden mutters something from the corner. Oh. Thank you for saving me. It wasn't your attention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. You tell the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. Uh, she follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You are the new overlord. Heroic underling. Yeah, become overlord. Okay. okay. I need to. F what do I do to get to this part? Hmm. Underling returns to the castle. It doesn't matter if the maiden's alive or not at this point. Wait, are the lions every possible choice that we've seen, I think? That's why they that's when they light up, is all the choices we've ah. seen. Okay. Um so if we if we bring the maiden back and aren't disloyal, okay. So, Kira... Okay, it's the death. We've never been dead. <laughs> She's actually not so oh. bad, you guys. <laughs> Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you, but before you can ask what they're sorry about, one of them suddenly seizes you. Oh. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle. You understand, right? Their claws tighten around your neck. You don't bother to struggle, you're out now, but you already know how things like this end. It's a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. They slit through in response. Oh. Faithful underling. Aww. Good little underling. We're at Thank six of so nine endings. <sighs> We're almost done. Okay. Um... So, Tyrant, Disloyal, Hungry, Return to the Castle, Disloyal, Coward. So, Disloyal, Hungry, Return to the Castle, Disloyal, Coward. Oh, you don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. 
You turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit in the panic whisper you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty fucked up. Or oh, swear word, and ask again to be let out. 69. Could I have one every stream? <laughs> <laughs> the overlord stirs in her bed while your head is turned. The demon shut the door. I think because we have a 69 and Milo is raiding, that means we should gift Milo a sub. <laughs> <laughs> what? Type in, type in chat so Ryla can gift you a chat. <laughs> It'd be funny. And I know they'll do it. <laughs> no. You scramble into the overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you can possibly say to explain this and survive. I think they should gift you a sub. They can't. Even no. Too fucking chat. I was looking for uh, one of these chats that was already on it. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> You're trembling. You can't believe those assholes would bully you like this. You feel like crying. I don't think I've said anything in the Maya, chat what's this your preferred time. pronouns? Is it he? Oh, he, him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want my pronouns? Take them. <laughs> Was were my new ones. <laughs> Was were. <laughs> they got taken. Oh, I can't. Wait. Oh, am I supposed to be reading? Light flickers at your feet. It doesn't take you long to realize they've set the room on fire. I dare though. <laughs> Why are they adding me? <laughs> type something. <laughs> you need to type. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna throw something at you because of that. Yes. You hear the overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you for the gift sub. That's epic. <laughs> Three gift subs? You're now second on the leaderboard. Ooh. <laughs> Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. I'm gonna throw some other stuff because of that. <laughs> you and the Overlord burn together. Oh, only two people died that time. Cowardly underling. Okay. How much do subs cost? Uh... Seven bucks, I think? I don't know. Wait, and that's three of those? So that's like... A lot of money? <laughs> okay, now we need to get to true ending. Yeah. Territory. So... True ending time. How, wait, how, what does Underling have to do to get to true ending? Has to bring the maiden. I cannot type, what the heck? Oh, I got a little thing next to yeah, my Yeah, you name. got a sub badge now. Hell yeah, little dragon. I like that I... you changed the channel points too. Yeah, little, to like, coins. Coin, dude. <laughs> I love that. I need a PD over. Fuck, I haven't heard oh, PD in a while. PD. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's an PayPal. old one. Rate PayPal? No, not rating <laughs> PayPal. How much money? I, I got thirty-three dollars. And it's seven dollars, is it? Yeah, I think so. I'll give you a sub. Oh, it's PT. nine dollars, I think. Oh yeah, because it costs more on mobile. Oh, is it less on computer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to use the school computer, because so, then you get the same amount of money. Yeah. Beta. That's also one I haven't heard in a while. Beta. Okay. <laughs> Antisocial, obedient, trusting, resol resolute, merciful. So, antisocial. Um, I think what happens all... if you just select all of the things on? I don't know. I think you it'll get, get to the... one. It'll probably get to yeah. one of the earlier endings. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Um, so. Peter. <laughs> Here. Uh, I've been looking at this chat. Disloyal. Okay. 
You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. You take them off into the castle. They take off. Are they headed to the... Oh, <laughs> they take off. No, I take them. They take off to the Overlord's castle. Are they headed to the Overlord's room? Fuck, it's another swear. That's like a fourth one. The demons swear a lot. <laughs> the Overlord will kill you for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the maiden's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars. They lie. <laughs> Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cry that it was your all your idea, and they were just going with the floor, too scared to refuse your crazy plan. You don't believe that tell the overlord such a blatant lie always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. All, you all shout at each other with the Overlord's demand silence. Until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place. Crushed beneath my heel. <sighs> she sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. You hear your traitorous friends mutter something about going back to plan A and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the Overlord and the two humans. And then the room bursts into flames. You pound on the door, screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to slay a the lot of them. You wish he'd get that chance. Oh, <laughs> the little dude's so tiny. Yeah. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you'd sided with her. But the Overlord doesn't hear you, please. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. Oh. Traitor underling. Now, Poor underling. I think the only end, yeah, the only ending left for the underling is true end. Hell yeah. Uh, disloyal. She was surprised the overlord spares you. Or maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead, looking around. You've just gone from one dead to end to another. The maiden is crying, the hero is silent. You'll all burn together. Damn. Underlings, true end. That calls for a crab ray. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter three. Whoa, we've only got one left. Yeah. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theatre, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind. But I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon. Forever yours. Tragedy. Okay. What endings am I missing? I'm missing a couple. Um. I'm a tyrant. And the underling is hungry. Uh, there's... Okay, there's a couple different things. Okay, it doesn't matter what I pick there. Um... Hungry. Overlord awakes. Coward or disloyal. And... Hero is trusting changes as well. So, skip, tyrant, skip. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah, okay. You are awakened by one of your underlings that brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. You tell him you don't know anything, humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home, to your surprise. Or to your surprise. You figured he might try to fight you, but you're glad to get back to your nap instead. 
until you wake up to something completely unexpected. One of your underlings is tearing your throat out. You try to struggle, but you can you can tell you're already mortally wounded. What would you what what have you done to deserve this kind of ending? You curse at them, choking on your own blood. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Assassinated overlord. Okay. If I make him a, if I make him a coward. Skip. Tyrant. Okay. Before you know what everything around you is being engulfed by flames, what's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being... Uh... You... What? You... 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 You up? I think it you is. You they have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from, from if this one burns? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Usurped. Damn, that was another Lord. swear word. Is bastard really a swear word? That's like word? the f I mean, maybe. <laughs> Okay, wait, what do I have to get to get there? Hungry, over a lot of wags, disloyal, trusting. He's trusting. Milo was right. Is it? <laughs> what am I getting wrong to get... Because if he's a coward... Wait, if he's not disloyal at all. Uh, oh, okay. That was an ending I already had. Just no, he has to be disloyal. The hero has to be trusting, but I don't. Okay. Hungry. Yes, so flee. How do I get this ending? Hmm. Hero behavior trusting. Oh, wait. If... If he's not hungry. Tyrant. You thought you told that underling to do their job, not drag strangers into your room. Looks like they took an unauthorized break away from your castle. You scold them, but ultimately you're a little interested in this guest, so you let them off easy. That underling's not so bad. It's a maiden from the nearby village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impeding capture, so she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I be more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. You think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. And just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to be having trouble, having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stays and talks to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. Well, I ended up in a different... Um... Let us stay, I guess? Wait. Let them go? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust in that, you decide. With the hero and maiden gone, you plop down into, your com into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. The maiden's some wait, how did I get back here? <laughs> hmm. You pierce the chest with your claws, they scream. The hero backs away, he is wise to so not interfere. They've stopped moving, but you keep digging and twisting your claws into them. It doesn't make you feel any better. 
The underling's corpse burns along with you and the two here of humans. Spiteful overlord. Okay, I still didn't get the ending that I was going for. <laughs> I got I got over there somehow. <laughs> we will never figure out how. How the fuck do I get here? So confused. Wait. Skip. Tyrant. Skip. Antisocial. Nope. Um. Because the... it says trusting, which is what when the thing when she leaves. Oh wait, if she's not resolved, resolute even. Antisocial. Okay. You wake up- I finally figured it out. I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you wake up to the sound of battle. A hero is cutting through your army. As the Overlord, it's your job to take charge in these kind of situations. You rush out to end this hero's pitiful existence. My way. Oh, it's my character. Vile demons! I should have believed for a second. Shouldn't have believed for a second that you were anything but pure evil. I'll exterminate you all. Don't you don't really is, get what he's good. going on about, but you engage regardless. A girl's got to defend her people. You clash again and again, but the hero isn't going down easily. You're both dangerously low on health, waiting for the other to make a move when one of your underlings appears behind him. They knock the hero unconscious. You kind of appreciate it, but can't they see this was a duel? They don't respond. You sense murderous intent. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart with their claws. You struggle to re retaliate. They've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Your blood is everywhere. You can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You've been slain by your own underling. Betrayed Overlord A. R.O.P. What ending am I missing now? So, let him go. Allows the maiden to stay. Diplomatic. Heroic. Um... Allow him to go. Let us stay. Okay, he suddenly strikes, cutting through you with his blade. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, you've gone soft. How could you have let your guard down like that? How unfair. After all you've done to avoid this outcome, you can't outrun your destiny. The hero always slays the overlord. You should never have trusted a human. You watch as the hero escorts the maiden out of your castle. Captured by a demon, at least she got what she came here for. You join your army in eternal slumber. Slain over Lord End. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter 4. My love, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts, one I was quite proud of in fact. As I read it out, I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude, you wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet you managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony, however unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day, even now. I wonder if somewhere you're thinking of it too. Forever yours, Tragedy. It can't end like this. You want to answer the Maiden's prayer. You've decided to find a way to save everyone. But retracing the past you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? If there's nothing you can do by acting from within their story, maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. Ooh. You, you boldly insert yourself into the story, and use your incredible power to warp everyone to safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? You take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are you, but 
Why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. The hero, maiden, underling, and overlord have been staring at you too. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> I've come to save you. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The maiden is first to respond. My prayers have been answered! You must be... Her god? No. You're merely the player. If there was any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. Now you realize what the real true ending must be. Now, 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 enough of this! I admit I've been encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story? How pase! You watch helplessly as tragedy descends from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way onto the stage, did you? I am the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you'd like. Darkness envelops your party. You don't mind you don't mind if I send each of them back to relive one of their many bad endings, right? You are alone in the darkness with me, tragedy. I sincerely hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide you stealing the show without permission. It's quite disrespectful. I'm sick of all these bad endings, oh I wanna say something new. Smile, which... Are we sick of the bad sick endings? Sick of all the bad endings. We need a good ending. And then frankly, you should have never come to a place called Bad End Theatre. Haven't we already been over this? You think defeating... You think defeating me just... Might just be the only way to see a better ending? It's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got! Time to fight God. Fighting God? <laughs> the sage is set for your final battle against me, the god of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Attack or defend? Hmm. Defend, because you'll probably die. I don't you try know. closing off your heart to protect yourself, but it doesn't make you feel any better. Oh, is that all? You'll never defeat me like that. Wait, let me try that again. You're right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You're right. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are. Behold my beautiful tragic tales. Doesn't oh. seeing them all again make your heart ache? You've witnessed all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be as much of a masochist as me. I commend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage, you know. It's a shame they couldn't make it here to the end of the world. That's right. You came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Ooh. Ooh. You find the hero in his home, hunched over a sewing table. You sudden, your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. Are, are you some kind of demon? You explain that no, you're not a demon. You're... How can you explain in a way that a hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I, I craft all my own gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what tr attracted him to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. Do you remember the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice? He's overjoyed by your answer. Apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other town folk, so no one else wants them. The true end for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can make a living as a tailor, rather than a hero? Please tell me what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. Hell yeah. I agreed to follow you, but I don't expect to face something like- I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived! We really couldn't have a final boss battle without him! 
You're the one who's been killing us, murderer! I cannot truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh. Um. We need to summon everyone, I think. Yes. You happen to find the maiden as she exits the church, her heart set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already no taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveller? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explain that no, you're not a traveller. Well, maybe you are, in a sense. You've come all this way. The maiden regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon. I was hoping I would meet one today. You think of all the terrible fates that would, ha would that hope would bring about. She is the catalyst of this story, after all. My role as a maiden is to be captured by the Overlord, but you see, I've grown tired of waiting. You remember this part. She wanted to understand her role better, and so you ask what it, it is that she's really hoping to gain from this. The maiden is confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. The true end for the maiden suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please, guide me! The Maiden will now fight alongside you. What is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear Maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. Then this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard's duty as you're expected. They call out to you. The other demon guard is sound asleep. Hey! You're a pretty weird looking intruder. What do you want? You explain that no, you're not an intruder, although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. Mm, I'd be best. It'd be best if I didn't have it to work it all out. I just want to live a carefree life, never get bossed around or picked on. You think of the underling's friends who had bullied them into an assassination plot, only to betray them at the end. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true ending for the underling, underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. So, there's a way that even work can be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. Wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hmm? You must be desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. Huh, if I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. I realize my HP isn't Not actually going there. down. <laughs> oh. You enter the Overlord's Not room, relieved, uh, relieved to see the fire contained to the torches of the wall. Uh, when you close the door behind you, the Overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? You explain that no, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all her day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Many of my underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans, like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. You can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. <laughs> I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I merely wish to be left alone, to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. You realize she must actually be very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true ending for the Overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather... Imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. The Overlord will now fight alongside you. I see, so this is tragedy. Ha! You've brought the Overlord. 
I don't stand a chance now. You've prevented me from attaining peace for long enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you're prepared to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. <laughs> now that the whole party is here, can you solve my final puzzle? Which combination of behaviors will open a path to your true ending? Show me! How do we fight against... It's it's gotta be okay. I'm thinking the Overlord's ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. The Overlord uses her ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. Oh, so it if I just I only have fifty fifty oh. chance and it just gets let's does the thing if I get it right. Tragedy is really okay. Um, I'll do my two, and then, um, I think her prayers might be... Yeah. Our true endings do exist! They simply must! The maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Okay. What do you think for hero and underling? Oh, do hero underling first. Underling should you miss dog. Underling, uh, underling Will mischief? Power. Yeah. Okay. I'll do Underling. Underling tries to evade tragedy through mischievous means. You're so much fun. Would you like a reminder of where that mischief will lead you? Oh. Okay, mischief was not right, so deniency. Knock me down, I'll just come back stronger. The Underling uses the deniency to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. And you said willpower for hero? Oh, yeah. He's got the willpower. Your reign of terror ends here! Tragedy! I refuse to give in! The hero uses his willpower to overcome tragedy. This is it. With everyone's hearts united, you take aim towards your best possible futures. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. Heck yeah. <laughs> You've done it! You've managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it! I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, hero. Thank you. thank you, maiden. Thank you, underling. And thank you, overlord. Enough of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Oh, don't worry. I'll be making my exit shortly. Finally. Thank you, most of all. We couldn't have made it this far, made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theatre did contain a truly good ending, after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it, I wonder? Are we satisfied? Yeah, satisfied. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Hell yeah, there was a good ending in the end. Aww. Uh. Shown little pixels. Yeah. I. That was a cool game. <laughs> but I've just had a thought. Oh, there's a, there's a song. That's nice. But... But... Not everyone got a good ending. We didn't save everyone. Who didn't we save? Tragedy. Oh. The tr our okay, true ending was... Tra sort of bad our true ending was tragedy's bad act. Oh. Damn. I guess not everyone gets a good ending. It has to be someone who gets a bad ending. <laughs> There's got to be something else, because all, all the letters were something That's as well. That's true. Hmm. Secrets? We shall find them. The music in this game is fucking beautiful. It is. I, it really sounds nostalgic too, for some reason. Yeah. And all of That's the art beautiful. is absolutely gorgeous. It is. I love pixel art. Yeah. 
And the true endings all having like having everyone's colours was so cool. Yeah. That was an epic game. Yeah. Made with red pie. Nice. I'm gonna throw something at you now. <laughs> Your true Aww, end. Oh, little flower. The true ending. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> Something's missing. <laughs> oh, you're still here. The curtain is closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theatre. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell, after all. There's one more. Me? You'd like to know why I started this theatre. <laughs> because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. You gently raise your fingers to the cracks in the mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart into your hands, revealing... I should have warned you, this might affect what you think of my stories. You can't help but compare my face to the maidens. I'm not her, but it's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Would you like to hear, not another ending, but the truth? Hell yeah. Alright. One last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such thing as demons, or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out to fulfill some sort of destiny. That part was true. She met someone. Another girl. <laughs> a running theme, isn't it? The Maiden and the Overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. But their families, the communities they come from, neither could appreciate or could approve of their relationship. That is the reality for many. This pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. She. No. We. We used to like the, the types of stories where love conquers all. But the strength of your love will put, pull you through any hardship, and everything is okay in the end. I lost her. Then I started this theatre. Does have a happy ending. Huh? Oh! <laughs> I was hoping Hell to yeah. find you. It's you. It's been so long. I thought I'd never see you again. You always think of the worst endings. I wasn't about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I feel like such a fool. I could say the same to you. You know I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course, I would be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but... I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. I love you too. Aww, that's so cute. Now, truly... Everyone can live happily ever after. Tragedies end. Hell yeah, there are no bad endings. Oh! That was oh. even better. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that took three hours. Did it? Yeah. That felt like longer. I felt like an hour, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying it, so it felt uh, like it took a while. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah. That was so good. Oh. Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> my heart! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was there so really good. There really wasn't a bad end. <laughs> oh, I. Oh. Uh.
That that was amazing. I love that game. That was amazing. I'm very glad I was along here for to watch some of the characters be here for the story. Yeah. <laughs> Is Muffin still going? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're going to we're going to Muffin. Okay. Wait. I need to open my stream manager. Raid channel. Is it gonna let me raid a channel? There we go. Let's go raid Muffin! And then we can just pop over to the wizard chat, because I think they're in there. <laughs> nah, I'm probably gonna have to go soon. I have to get ready for school tomorrow. Fair enough. Do you have school on tomorrow?